Hi everyone, welcome to yet another exciting lesson. As you can see at your view here, we have this nice expression. We have into bracket x plus 9, close the bracket, raised to the power of 2, equal to 9. How do we solve for x? So to do that, we have solution. Now, we use two approach to solve for x. In this case, we use the first method. From our first method, we have our question. So from here, we bring this x plus 9 into bracket to the power of 2. We bring this 9 to the left hand side. We have minus 9 equal to 0. Then from here, we can still rewrite this as x plus 9 into bracket to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 equal to 0. So over here, this looking like the difference of 2 square. And for difference of 2 square, we have the identity to be a minus b to the power of 2 is expressed as a plus b into bracket a minus b. So if we use this approach, considering this looking in the this looking in the form of difference of two square of this nature, then we can put the resulting uh, factorization in this form as well. So now this will now be written in this form, and that will become x plus nine plus the b will now be three. We have plus 3 into bracket, then open another bracket. We also have x plus 9, then minus b, in this case minus 3. So we now put everything to be equal to 0. So here we simplify what we have in the bracket, the two brackets. So this becomes x. x plus so we have 9 plus 3 will give us 12 then we close the bracket for this then for this we have x plus 9 minus 3 will give us 6 so we close the bracket everything equals to 0 so from here we can now solve for x we can see x plus 12 equal to 0 simply means that x equal to minus 12 for this case we also have x plus 6 equal to 0 so which means that x equal to minus 6 so we have x equal to minus 12 or x equal to minus 6 this is for this first method then for the second method we have method 2 so for method 2, we have x plus 9 into bracket to the power of 2 equal to 9. So from here, from this identity, a plus b into bracket raised to power 2 is expressed as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if we consider this identity, then our expression this part this term can now be written as x squared plus 2 multiplied by x then b which is 9 multiplied by 9 and plus 9 squared will be equal to 9. So this can be expressed as x squared plus 2 multiplied by 9 will give us 18x plus then 9 squared will give us 81 equal to 9. We bring this 9 to the left hand side. So we have x squared plus 18x 
plus 81 minus 9 equal to 0. So we have this to be equal to x squared plus 18x then plus 72. 72 equal to 0. That is if we subtract 9 from 81, we have 72. So here we have a quadratic equation. So we now solve for x in this quadratic equation. Now to solve for x, we use the factorization method. We look for the product of, the product of 72 and the sum of 18x. So we have the product to be given by 6 that will be multiplied by 12 will be given as 72 72 okay 72 then the sum will also be given by 6 plus 12 will be equal to 18 so these are these two number that will make the factorization process easier for us now we can now apply this into the into the quadratic equation so expressing that in the quadratic equation we have x squared plus 6x plus 12x plus 72 all equals to 0 now we cannot have this to be equal to x squared plus 6x into bracket plus into bracket 12x plus 72 as well in the into bracket so we have x into bracket x plus 6 then plus 12 into bracket x plus 6 equal to 0 so this gives us x plus 6 into bracket multiplied by x plus 12 into brackets. So this means that x plus 6 equal to 0 or x plus 12 equal to 0. And this gives us x equal to minus 6 or x equal to minus 12 so this is the value of x as well using the second method as you can see we have the same answer likewise with the first method so we can now check to confirm this or method the value of x if it satisfies the earlier question so we check from our question we have x plus 9 into bracket power 2 will be equal to or is equal to 9 so if we apply the value of x equal to minus 6 x equal to minus 12 to see whether it will the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side so we have putting minus 6 here we have minus 6 plus 9 into bracket to the power of 2 equal to 9 then we can write this as 9 minus 6 into bracket to the power of 2 equal to 9 so we can have it so this give us 9 minus 6 give us 3 into bracket to the power of 2 equal to 9 so 3 to the power of 2 give us 9 equal to 9 LHS equal to RHS so this prove the the value of X equal to minus 6 is satisfied so let's check for the second value of X so at X equal to minus 12 so we have our expression to be X plus 9 into brackets 
to the power of 2 equal to 9. Let's input our value of x. So we have minus 12 plus 9. We'll close the bracket to the power of 2 equal to 9. So this can be written as 9 minus 12. Close the bracket to the power of 2 equal to 9. 9 minus 12 simply means minus 3. So close the bracket to the power of 2 equal to 9. So this can be expressed as minus 3 multiplied by minus 3. So this can be expressed as minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 equal to 9. So this minus negate this minus and we multiply the 3 together. So we have 9. And that will be equal to 9. Likewise, at 12, likewise, at x equal to minus 12, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Proof. Like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more interesting tutorial or lesson. Bye for now.